Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that card guy coming to you with another video today. Got a ton of cards that sold this weekend on eBay. I'm going to show those to you as well as one buyer that bought all the cards I had of one particular one. Bunch of rookie cards, a lot of other great rare parallel inserts, serial numbered stuff, a lot of the stuff that uh, I bought, love buying and selling. The type of cards that are going into people's collections, not always being flipped and resold. So uh, I, I like getting these cards to the right collectors filling those holes on those collections and dealing with these rare cards from the 80s, 90s, and uh, mid 2000s. So uh, yeah, we're gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna check out the cards. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, do all that good stuff. If you're interested in some of the other content I have, go check out that reseller guy. There'll always be a link down below. You can always get a link to my eBay store and all that other good stuff if you wanna check it out. But yeah, that's it. Let's get going. All right, you can see here, got a big stack of cards. we got to show you, show you what sold. It's a one graded card. It is a Kurt Warner PSA 10 from 2000 Skybox Dominion. That's his second year. I collect a Kurt Warner for the PSA registry and I accidentally bought a duplicate of this card. So I went ahead and sold it. It sold for 30 bucks. Uh, I probably broke even on that sale. I think I paid 20 something for it as well. So yeah, happy to get that off to another collector. But yeah, let's check out the cards in here that sold. All right. First up, we got a Thurman Thomas card, Season Heroes. This is from Scoreboard uh, Super Bowl 31. This is actually a fairly rare set. Picked up five or six singles from the set, and actually you'll see another one in here. They sold pretty quickly. That card sold for $4, but uh, again, it sold quick. Next up, Dan Marino, 1990 Tops, but this is the Tiffany, the glossy version. I picked up a partial set a while back, and you've seen me sell a few singles. So Dan Marino, I think it sold for... $13, $15, somewhere in that range. One of the uh, better stars from that set. Rookie card, Jerome Iginla. I always have problems saying his name from Select. Dollar card. All right, this is it. Acuna Jr. Tops Gold Label Black Class 1. I think, that's a, I think that's a class one. They tell you the class number up there and give you a little different photo. That card was a few dollars. Marshall Falk, Tops Chrome Ground Warriors, but this is from Own the Game. This is the refractor version. I think it says refractor somewhere on there. Uh, again, another three, four dollar card. Saquon Barkley had a massive game last night, and his rookie cards were selling. So I sold two of his score rookies to different buyers, a couple dollars a piece on those. Steve Grogan, 2001 Tops Archives Reserve. This set sells pretty well. They got a refractor finish, and uh, I think they did like rookie card versions of these players. So I just had probably a dollar card, dollar and a half. Whatever. Uh, like I said, I sold Saquon Warriors. Yeah, there'll be another one coming up here. This is the Elite Rookie Card. Draft pick. Sean in his Penn State uniform. Again, a couple dollars on him. All right. Mike Daniels. I believe he's a lineman for the Packers. Number 76. Picked this one up because I saw that it was numbered right there. You can see. Uh, oh, yeah. Right there. Numbered out of 50. Sold with the same day that I listed it. Sold for $5. 5 or $6. So, uh, good sale on Mike Daniels. All right, there's the other one, Reggie White. So I sold Thurman Thomas and Reggie White, four bucks a piece on those. Got a few more singles, but yeah, like I said, it is a fairly rare set. That's what it looks like on the back from Scoreboard. Uh, one Trevor Lawrence Spellbound, got the E, someone trying to complete their set. It sold several of these Bowman Chrome to the same buyer. They'll be spread out in here. He bought them all individually. So we got the Tim Couch, 2002. Oh, no, nope, I put them together. So there's the Priest Home. He bought two of these Priest Homes. And Tim Couch. There were a few dollars a piece on those. Mike Bick, rookie card, 2001 Preferred. This one is serial numbered right here out of 1100 on the back. Had it at $10 on my store. Somebody sent me an offer for seven. I went ahead and took it. I bought it for just a couple bucks. I was still making some decent money on that. Lou Garosa from Leaf Limited. These cards are serial numbered on the back as well. Numbered out of just $249. A couple of dollars on him. All right, this was a nice card. I think this card sold for $10. The gold doesn't show up as well. In the picture as it does in this in uh just this video here me holding it you can see how great and gold that card is really nice cards from pacific again that card sold for 10 bucks got a luke keekley rookie been selling his cards slowly he's uh i got a bunch of them bought a bunch of his rookie cards a few months back all right there's another one of these different buyer this time though this is uh ben lieber is that who that is ben lieber yeah ben lieber uh the x fractors are numbered out of 250 upside down but uh, yeah, I picked up a bunch of these, so I've got them listed. Another multi-card card order right here. We got uh, more tops Tiffany, so one, one of the 49ers. So we got the Montana 49ers team card, as well as the Super Bowl 24 card where the 
Niners beat the Broncos. Oh, before some of you leave, because I know that some of you always leave early, let me show you the multi-card orders. All right, add one person by three. Mark McGuire, 1987 Donruss, the rated rookie, his first Donruss card. Uh, these are two bucks a piece, so someone bought three of those. And the, as the title said, someone bought all the ones that I had, and they bought all of these, all these beautiful Dwight Gunn rookies. But what you'll see on these is these are all off-center. Yeah, you can see that's off-center pretty bad. Off-center, off-center, and this was my off-centered listing. So I had a bunch that were good-centered and a bunch that were off-centered, so I did separate listings. Still got $2 a card for these, even being off-centered. And then I had one that was centered pretty good, but uh, had a little surface defect. So I went ahead and threw this one in for free. So he got 12 uh, Dwight Goodens, actually 13 Dwight Goodens with free shipping because he bought 12 or more cards. All right, here's a 13 card order. A lot of various stuff in this one. So this one, let's check it out. We got Tony Gwynn, 1986 Tops, Ken Griffey Jr., Prism Pink, Pink Cracked Ice, however they call that one, Ken Griffey Jr., Blue Hollow from Donruss, Paul Mahler, 1981 Fleer. Ricky Henderson, 82 Donruss. That's a great Ricky Henderson card, one of my favorites of his. Greg Maddox, rookie from 87. Chipper Jones, rookie. Another 82 Donruss. This time I got Carl Yastrzemski. It looks like he's laying down a bunt. Is that what he's doing? Doing a little drag bunt there. Bo Jackson, rookie, 87 tops. Classic one there. Another Mark McGuire, 87 Donruss. So this guy got a single. The other person bought my other three. An Oral Hershiser, rookie from 85 tops. Thurman Thomas. 1989 score, and then a Tony Dorsett second year card from 1979 tops. I think this whole order was about $32, I think, plus free shipping. All right, let's finish up these single cards. We still, we still got a pretty good stack. I forgot the exact number of cards that I sold this weekend, but it was more than last weekend, so pretty good, pretty good sales. All right, Toy Holt 2002 tops Chrome Black Refractor, numbered out of 599. Todd Helton draft pick 1996. This is a Topps Chrome, I think these are rookie reprints. I'm not real familiar with Bill Clement, but uh, that was an insert. Rookie card of Eric Chavez from 97, Bowman Chrome. Nice card there. Mitch Garver. This was like a $3 card. It was just a black border card. Didn't know how rare they were. I was trying to do some research and I couldn't really find much. So I threw out three bucks. It sold. Kevin McReynolds. Tops first or Stadium Club first day production, it says up there, later known as first day issues. A buck and a half on that. Surprised that this card sold as quick as it did. Now it is numbered out of 50 on the back of this guy here. It's hard to see his name, Derek Lewis. But it is uh, a rookie card numbered out of 50, so four, four or five dollars. Nice looking Jeff Bagwell insert card. I don't even know what it's called because it's kind of hard to read the name right there. Diamond Cuts. Diamond Cuts, a few dollars for that. This one was like an $8 card. I really have no idea who this player is. Obviously, he's a Japanese player, plays for the Swallows, but uh, I saw that there was some for about 8 bucks. Threw it out there, and it sold Sold this weekend. Sold within a couple of days. Here was a kind of a fun one here. This Vancouver Canucks with Fozzie Bear as the goalie, the little Muppets card. I think these were in the early 90s. They did some of these. So it looks like on the back, Muppets from Cards, C-A-R-D-Z. I don't know. It's kind of neat. Better better hockey card right here. Hot gloves. Olaf Kolzig. Love these die cut hot club hot gloves cards. Nice looking one there. I think that sold for, I don't know, four, five, six dollars. Another I sold lots of lots of rare cool inserts this weekend. I hope you're appreciating the, the uniqueness of my sales. So this is Score Epics, Dorsey Levens. These are serial number out of 500. Again, another card that sold pretty fast after listening it. Anquan Bolden had someone buy one, two of his rookie cards. I think they were a dollar a piece, so a couple dollars there. TJ Watt, rookie, Crown Royale, probably the one of the best, most disruptive players out there in the league. Sold for $8 for the Crown Royale. Another Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire was hot this weekend. Uh, yeah, another one of his cards, another couple dollars on that. Don Mattingly, Topps insert, 1983 Topps design. That's a $3 sale. Cal Raleigh, and that one is serial numbered on the back. Down there at the bottom, uh, $2.99. I think that was still sold for, I don't know, three, four dollars. Jacoby Ellsbury rookie, Bowman uh, Sterling, a few dollars on him. Another 90 tops, Tiffany. I told you these cards were kind of hot this weekend. Sold a bunch of these. Randall Cunningham, I think he was about three dollars, not too expensive. All right, so I've got a couple stacks to go. I hope you're staying with me. We've got Revolution Lamar Jackson. They play tonight. If you're watching this today, it's Monday, so they play on Monday Night Football, numbered out of 149 there. That is the impact parallel. 
All right, I always like these dragon scale inserts. This is a green dragon scale, Terry McLaurin and his college uni. Not serial numbered, but just a great looking, great looking insert with a dragon scale. All right, this is a pickup that I got from when I was in the Dallas card show a couple weeks ago. Flew to Dallas, went to the card show, and this is a platinum medallion numbered out of 98. Jason Dunn. Sold that one for, I think it went for 15 bucks, 13, 15, somewhere in that range. It's what the last one sold for, so I priced mine the same, and it sold pretty quick. All right, he got a big win that the other day. We got Cooper Rush, Draft Picks Contenders Red Foil autograph. Not serial number or anything, but he got the win, so I got the sale. So $10 sale, bought that for a dollar. Here's the other Saquon Elite. Told you there was two of them. All right, more of these. Uh, 2002 Black Refractor, Aaron Brooks. Again, these are numbered on the back out of five ninety nine. All right, I put all these together just because I thought I'd talk about it at the same time. This is the top's first pitch, and these do sell pretty well for certain players. We got Jack White there, sold two of those, two dollars a piece. But Fluffy, everybody loves Gabriel Iglesias, five dollars a piece for these, five dollars for Gabriel Iglesias. So a bunch of first pitch inserts getting getting sent out today. Here's the last deck. Stay with me. We got Michael Jordan. You got to stay for Michael Jordan. This is the Hoops 5th Anniversary Parallel. Kobe Bryant. Nice looking horizontal card there. Looks like he's passing the ball right there. And uh, yeah, from like 03, 04. So it's down there at the bottom of the Fleer card. I think that was like five bucks for that one. All right, this card's kind of cool. It's number 10 of 10. Let me get in the right light. 10 of 10. Jamichael Green. Yeah, this one's actually going out of the country. I don't know where it's going. I'm just sending it through the global or eBay international shipping. I think that one, I don't know, it was like five bucks, six bucks, somewhere in there. Court Masters, Gary Payton insert, couple dollar card. Edwin James, they call these gold refractors, but uh, they're they're not as bright gold as, you know, like the tops and Bowman Chrome ones are. But it still sold pretty quickly for, I think, five bucks. And the last card, we got an Immaculate Buster Posey, numbered out of just 99, number three and 99, Buster Posey Immaculate Giants. All right, that wraps everything up. I hope you liked the video. It's Thanksgiving week. No more videos this week. So y'all better have a great Thanksgiving day watching some football, having some good food, spending some time with family, or uh, whatever you do on Thanksgiving. I hope you have a great day. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.